In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your design file in digitizing so you can embroider on the front, on the right side, and on the left side all in one pass. I was supposed to do this video a while ago, but I kind of forgot, slipped my mind, been doing so many other videos. You are going to need a physical tape measure to do this, all right? You're gonna to have to measure from the center of your hat to the side of your hat, and then the center of your hat to the side. It should be symmetrical, it should be the same. So once you get the measurement from here to there, then you're good and you also want to measure from the side where the design your front design ends to the middle of the other design and all that you're going to um take those write those numbers down and line it up in digitizing all right so uh let's g dive into measuring out our cap so let's go ahead and take a look at our hat right now we know this is the center of our hat and around this panel right here the side panel Right in the center is where you want your design to fall. Again, we got the front of the hat right here and the side right here, right in the center panel right here. Between this crease and that crease right here is where we want our design to fall, right on the temple area, right in the middle of here. So we know we got to measure, tape measure from here to the center of here, all right? Or from here to the beginning of where we want our design to fall. But I'm going to take it, measure from the center to the center. And that way we know that the center of our side design, how many inches it's going to be from the center of our um, main design. All right. Or you can do it from edge of your main design to the center of the of the uh, of, of this of this right here. All right. So in digitizing, that's where you're going to place your stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and take my tape measure. All right. Got it upside down. But from here to there. All right from here to here that's about five and a half inch got this upside down but from the middle of the design right here to here five and a half so I want my design to fall at about five and a half inch from the side it's symmetrical so I know five and a half the tape measure should end right in the middle and that is correct so I'll put this at five and a half on this it ends right here in the middle of this five and a half. So I know my hat is symmetrical, all right? So once again, let me flip my tape measure around so you guys can see, all right? Center of that seam right there, hold it down, come around the side. It's right there in the center, kind of in the center of that, um, of that panel right there is five and a half, all right? I could go a little bit up, you know, like, like, um, five and a quarter if I want to you know what I mean so it'd be exactly in the center but you want to play with that number all right all right so let's jump into digitizing software so we could take a look just grab some designs bring it in and we can take a look at you know what we would do all right so right now we're in a chroma Lux digitizing software I'm going to show you guys how to set this thing up so right now under your templates right here you can click on that and you can make yourself a Rakoma MT1501 hat hoop. I got mine set for 14 inches wide by 3 inches tall, alright? Because 3 inches is as tall as you pretty much want your design to be. It's actually like 2.5, but I made my from top to bottom 3 inches and from side to side 14 inches. So make a hoop in this part right here. You can go ahead and type in new and type in the width which I got it for 14 and the height which I got it for 3 and I named it Rakoma MT-15 one hat hoop alright so after you got that you click on it press OK and then it lines up that hat hoop on the screen alright so now we can go ahead and import our image but for the sake of this video I'm just gonna go ahead and use text let's say I want a large A in the middle okay the height I'm gonna make that uh, 1 apply all right, now we got our large A right there in the middle of our uh, hat hoop right there. On um, the middle right here is where that zero is up here. All right, so that's about the middle right there. Actually, the middle of our design would be like where this arrow is right here. So I'm gonna try to line that up right there. Let me bring in an imaginary line so I can see. All right, and I can just line that up with these little dots right there. Alright, so that's in the middle. That's the middle of the hat. Pretty much, kind of, sort of. Alright, what do you guys think in the comments down below? So that's the middle right there. Boom. 
All right, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. I like to have mine close to the brim. All right, so now that's what we got in the center of our hat. Now we can check that, grab this ruler right here and measure from here to here. And that's about five and a half. And from here to here, 5.59. 5.58 and kind of about the same at the farthest point of each. So we know that that is, that is in fact kind of the center right there. Okay, so so now let's say we wanna put some more initials on the side and we said our, our number was five and a half, right? So if our number is five and a half, um, that means from here to there is gonna be 5.50. So we kinda of want our design all right, so this hoop will be a little bit too small. So I'm gonna take my tape measure and I'm gonna measure out again. Um, so, cause five and a half is the center of our side panel. So I can make it like at the beginning, let me look at my design right here. Yeah, mine is every bit of that. So I'm gonna like increase my hat hoop size on here. So maybe I'll go up here and I'll make this hat hoop a little bit bigger. All right, so let me adjust that I can I can adjust it all right I can't adjust this current one that I have so I'm just gonna make a new one all right new all right uh, I'm gonna make it once uh, 16 16 by by three all right and um, hat I'm just gonna call it hat all right all right okay and okay all right, so now we got, now we can do that five and a half. We should be able to do that five and a half. All right, yeah, we can. All right, so now I'm gonna take another letter and I'm gonna say um, W, right? Boom, compare W. And let's say that W I want on the left side right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring down another line right here and I'm gonna find the bottom of that A and I want that to match up with the bottom of this W and I want the center of that W to be at about five and a half. So I'm gonna sit it down right about here. I'm gonna take my measuring tool and I'm gonna measure to see from the edge of here to right there. So that's good enough, right? That's good enough. It's not quite five and a half. It's like, yeah, but that's good enough. I know exactly what's gonna fall. It's gonna be at the bottom of here to about right here and it's gonna be right in that center panel. So that's 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 about right. Five and a half would be about here. All right, so I could move it back just a little, just a little smidget. So I would take this and I would just like scooch it back just a tad, all right? And that should be it. All right, so 5.50, yeah. And the center of that is, is about 5.50. A little bit less, but that's that's close enough. That's close enough. All right, so that's good. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so in Chroma, we gotta go like this to bring it back. And let me see if I want a um, P for Philadelphia on this side. So I go ahead and click, and I go ahead and make it P. Apply, and then I'm gonna line this P up on that line right there, and I'm gonna eyeball it and kind of like make it kind of the same distance. I think it's gonna go back just a little bit more to about right there. I'm just looking at this space right here relative to this space right here. And let me grab my ruler and let me see from this, from farthest point of this to where this is the center. That's about, all right, 5.2. I gotta move it back a little bit because I said five and a half. So five and a half would be about right here. So. Again, I'm gonna just move this back just a little bit, just a little bit, all right? So move that back just a little bit. All right, all right, so the problem is, yeah, that A, yeah, that's that's in the center, so that, that's, that's, that's good. So let me measure that again from here to there. I'm satisfied with that. The center is about, 5.41 and from here to here that's about it's about the same it's about the same all right so and from here to there that's like 63 from there to there 
about 55 you know we could we could adjust it and play with it but you get the point it's going to be on the it's going to be in the middle then it's going to be on this side and it's going to be on that side all in one pass this is how it's going to go it's going to do the center one first right then it's going to do that one then it's going to do the other side all right boom boom and then boom and we go ahead and play it and see how it embroiders it's going to go like that that than that than that all right i'm not going to go ahead and adjust the uh if if i was doing this and digitizing this i would increase the density and i just make a center line right here what i would do is i would go over here i would take that parallel off i put the center line for my text and then i'd increase the density and stuff like that like right here uh, instead of 40 i'll make it like 30 so it's nice and thick all right let me put on a realistic view so you can see that and the smaller text i would make about i don't know about uh 32 right and same thing for this one about 32 method to my madness don't ask me why that's just what i do all right take off this put the center line on same thing for this take that off and put the center line on that and then i would export this dot dst and put it into my embroidery machine and that's how it would embroider on the hat. All right, so let's look at the screen of our MT-1501 here. And for the sake of, you know, being consistent, I went ahead and I brought over our file. So I'm just gonna hit the file button and then I'm going to insert my flash drive. And then I'm going to hit the memory button and oh, wait, file, memory stick. All right. It's, already on there memory stick all right so now i'm going to find our file let's go ahead and navigate and try to find our file that we have made okay here it is right here here it is okay boom that's our file so i'm going to save it to our machine right there in this folder i'm going to go ahead and recall it here it is right here i'm going to load it up and there it is right here and as you guys can see i don't know if you can see on the screen let me try to adjust all right if you see on the screen you can't really see but the edge letters are outside of the whole thing so these this won't embroider because these letters right here on the side are outside so now we're going to go ahead and resize our frame and you can do this for any frame any frame when you get a new mighty hoop and you don't know how to adjust the machine for your mighty hoop you go ahead and go to emb then you hit frame and you see all the frame sizes right there for this, in this case, we need our um, our Y axis, no, our uh, 360, our X axis to be a little bit wider. All right, right now it's on 360, so I'm gonna adjust. No, it's on three. Yeah, it's on 360, so I'm gonna adjust and make it a little bit wider. So I'm gonna hit that button right there. I'm gonna hit clear. It's on 360 right now. I'm gonna put three eight zero. Then I'm gonna hit OK, and now see how I made it a little bit wider. And it's right on the edge. I'm going to make it a little bit wider still. EMB frame that 380. I'm going to clear that out. Type in 400. And then I'm going to hit OK. And right now we have our um, whole entire image, the center A, along with the image on the right side and the image on the left side, all on that one screen. So it's going to embroider this one. It's going to embroider W. Then it's going to embroider the P. I can go ahead and frame it up lower it down to the brim if I wanted to, where I can put it up higher on the head if I wanted to. And if you guys wanna know how to adjust the the height on here, you do the opposite. You just go for EMB, um, I mean, uh, let me go back. You go to EMB parameters, press frame, and then you would adjust the X axis. So if I wanna clear that and make that smaller, just put 80. And now you can see that shrunk, that shrunk the up and down but I actually want it bigger. So I'll put, take that 80 and put it up to, I think 120 is good. That's what I like to leave mine at because I got a lot. I can get it really, really close to the brim if I wanted to, right? Bring that down like that, nice and close to that brim right there. And um, without, you know, hitting that metal frame. And that's how you adjust um, your frame sizes, all right? And in the other frame sizes, you're gonna notice that you have the rounded edge option. The hat, you don't need that option, but you wanna adjust these numbers because the Mighty Hoops have rounded edges. 
not square edges. So you want to play with these numbers until the edge looks like the edge that, that's on your mighty hoop. All right. So you mess with the X and the Y axis. If it's a hoop that is even on all four sides, you know, you got 150 by 150 or whatever. And this is all in millimeters right there. So you have to go online and Google millimeters to inches and it will tell you exactly what number you got so if you got a mighty hoop that's um you know uh 5.5 you go online and in the calculator let me see if i'm going online right now i'm going to do it um i'm going to go to google.com and i'm going to type in millimeters to inches it populates and then i got a calculator so now if I got a mighty hoop that's 5.5 inches, I'm going to plug in 5.5 inches. I know that it's 139.7 and 139.7. Um, I think that's the 150 by 150 I got set up right there. But you can 139.7 is pretty much 140. So it'll be 140 by 140 is what I'll make that 5.5 inch hoop. But for some reason I got it 150 by 150. That's okay. All right, close enough. All right, and um, you know, you can adjust your hoop sizes that way, guys, all right? So in the comment section, leave your questions and your concerns and let me know if that helps you out in any way. Share it with your friends because we're all trying to grow together. I'm trying to show you guys how to use this machine and optimize it so that it works for you and you're not working for the machine. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys little tips and tricks here and there on what I do to improve my workflow. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Share this video with your friends. You know, I got, I you know, I, I persuaded you guys to, um, you guys saw a lot of what this uh, machine was doing for my business and I convinced you guys that it might have been the right investment for you. So I'm showing you guys the things that help me have a smooth workflow and is able to help me boost my business. All right, and this is one of the things. Boom, boom, done right here on the MT-1501, right here. Side, front, side, large front too. And close to, partially, you know, significantly close to the brim right here. Got the side hit and the other side hit. And I made that video for you guys. You guys saw the, the hat embroidering. So, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Turn up that. Crank it up. While I listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby.